What's good, y'all? It's your man Dixie Freely of Thinking Out Loud Media Group. Today, I want to give you guys a quick review on the microphone that I use in my home recording studio. It's the Audio Technica AT2050. The Audio Technica AT2050 comes with a shock mount, of course, the microphone, and a pouch, uh, which I have yet to use. And I'll show you the shock mount later. Uh, it's a very good microphone. Like I say, it's very flexible. This is a close-up of the carrying case or pouch that comes with the microphone. I never used this before, so I don't know how well it would protect the mic. Okay, this is a uh, close-up of the mic itself. You can see the diaphragm on the inside. It's a large diaphragm, but it's not the largest you can get. Some mics have even larger diaphragms. Um, it's a condenser mic, which means you're going to have to have 48 volt phantom power to use this. And usually uh, a mixer or an audio interface will supply you with the 48 volt phantom power. Uh, this mic is very flexible, as I said earlier. You have three different polar patterns. The one on the far left is a uh, omnidirectional, which means it will pick up sound from all angles. Uh, one in the middle is corridor, which is what I use, which uh, means it will only pick up sound from the front. Then the one on the far right is figure eight, which means it will pick up sound from the front and back, and it will supposedly reject sound from the sides. So in short, uh, polar patterns are basically the sensitivity to sound that the mic will, will uh, detect from different angles. Also, you have with this microphone 80 hertz bypass filter, which will help eliminate unwanted noise and um, any rumblings that you may have. You also have 10 dB pad, and the pad will also help with unwanted noise, and it, it will provide you with more headroom to help out with distortion. Um, basically, what the pad does is weaken the sing signal. Okay, now we're in my vocal booth, and this is what the mic looks like when it's operational. I'm going to move this uh, pop filter here so you guys can get a better view. Here is the uh, shock mount that I spoke of earlier. It's the uh, AT8458 shock mount. And basically what a shock mount does is, is uh, it attenuates noise, shock, and vibration, you know, to give you clean vocals or clean recording without any unwanted noise or sudden noise. Um, I like this shock mount because it's small, it's not very heavy. You know, the heavier your mic, um, the heavier the shock mount, the more sturdy, probably the more expensive your mic stand is going to have to be. So consider that, you know, when you're um, looking at different microphones. Uh, another popular mic uh, microphone shock mount you will see is the uh, Spider shock mount. Those are very good, but they're a lot heavier and a lot bigger. Um, I actually run this microphone through a uh, preamp. It's the uh, Presonus uh, 2 Pre. And uh, most preamps also have pad settings on them in addition to the, to the pad setting that's on the mic. And um, you always want to keep the pad setting uh, in play on the microphone because if you don't, um, you're going to pick up everything going on in your home and your neighbor's home because <laughs> uh, condenser microphones are very, very sensitive. Um, but you don't want to have the pad set on the mic and on the preamp because if you do, your vocals are going to be very, very low when you record them and you're going to have to spend a lot more time mixing the vocals and adding different, um, adding more plugins to bring up the vocals, which can cause other problems. Uh, what you uh, want to do is not set the padding on the uh, padding on the uh, pr uh, preamp uh, and leave it set on the microphone. That way your vocals are cut right through the mix and you won't have to spend as much time uh, mixing the vocal. This microphone um, is it's very good, man. I'm telling you, it's, I don't have any complaints about it. Uh, I was actually torn between this one and the AKG P420 microphone. Um, both of them are neck and neck in terms of functionality and you know, option and versatility, but the uh, AKG sounds a bit brighter on my vocals. 
then this one did. This one gave me a natural sound, and that's what I was looking for, a smooth sound. Um, so it, it basically depends on personal preference. And before you go out and buy one, I suggest testing them out, you know, before you spend your money. And most stores will allow you to test out microphones inside the store um, before you purchase. Uh, this mic retails at about uh, anywhere between 160 and 200, but I got this one for 120 on eBay, brand new. So consider that as well. Um, if you have any questions, post them, I'll answer them. Um, if you want to see what this mic sounds like, you can go to DixieFreely.com to hear it, to uh, hear my hear my music and hear what the mic sounds like. Also, be sure to, to subscribe to my channel and click the like button on my website if you decide to uh, check out this microphone. Um, shortly. <laughs>